My trigger point to the dirty, sweaty world of homosexuality was musical theater. <laughs> it all began with open auditions at the Rosenbaum Children's Theater for a production of The Reluctant Dragon. It was? A musical. And that musical was? Delightful! But in time, Tyler's theatrical urges began to bulge and swell. My, my cravings increased. Growing unsatisfied with ensemble roles, I soon yearned to perform in the sound of music. At first, it was the role of Kurt and Friedrich. Eventually, I obsessed over Julie Andrews in the quintessential role of Maria. Tell us, how do you solve a problem like Maria? I said, no more musical theater, no more musical theater for me. Just one time, I just have to say no. That's why there's no more musical theater for me. Son, you could be just like him. Change the world to God's world. There is no more musical theater. No more musical theater for me. Why there's absolutely no more musical theater for me. And unscholarly scansion But the biggest temptation in theater for me was Those overdone cockney accents Top of the morning, Governor! Have a blue and raspberry talk, will ya? Now you got no trouble and strife to blame for your tall and dick It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve comes right before the dream sequence. No! Save us from the dream sequence! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eric Jacobson. How do you know my name? I am Omniscient. <laughs> oh, it's only a dream, Eric. You can do anything you want in a dream. Politics, religion, ooh, loot of it. Mm, and no one will ever know. You could rob a bank. No. You could vote for a woman to be a minister. Oh, no. You could master the dark art of musical theater. <gasps> no. Surrender, Dorothy. There is no resisting Satan's secret diabolical weapon.
Don't cry for me, Minnesota! <laughs> oh. 